right after going to the uh, motorcycle museum last week, we're back in the workshop this week, so we better have a load over to there where Adam is, because uh, Steve Burgess has turned up and he out on the engine. Now he's told us to stick up our arse, so I've done it. It's all done now, it's all finished, all taken apart, everything's stripped. You've done the whole lot? Yeah. Mm. Get the, I'll, get, I'll get the stump off before you've undone that bolt. Oh, of course you will, it's about 15 foot long. <laughs> <laughs> I know something else that's 15 foot long. Yeah, you're... Now, yes. anyway, yes. we're back on the engine. We are, second part. Part two. Very cosmopolitan. Yeah. Yeah. Part two. Right, so hopefully yeah. the cases will be split. Yeah. Get bits ordered. Yeah. And get it back together. Yeah. So what are we doing to the engine tonight then? What, what? Taking the rest of it apart. <laughs> Say, what? Taking the rest of it apart. Well, I, I know, but what, what bits? What bits? What do you mean? Well, I don't know what you're taking apart, do oh, I? It's the gearbox and the phone. Right. Well, no, we go get the crankcases in half. <laughs> right. And that way then, we'll have the crank out, gearbox out. Yeah. Be the last of it, ready for them. Um, back together. Cleaning up and put it back together. Yeah. Talk me through it, Steve. What are you oh, doing? Course, What's this thing? Right. That's his contraption you made yeah. up to hold the engine for some reason. Yeah. yeah. I can't, can't get it off. You can't get it apart. Did you um, weld it in stitchu? No. Yes. <laughs> I can't remember. You'd have to cut it off, wouldn't you? <laughs> Does it... S- yeah. Wait a minute. I, I, I did Here say... We that's right, there we go. It? There you go, yes. See? Poo poo you. I was, yeah. try, I was trying to get the sump off before we actually got back and removed. Yeah, poo poo so, you. So I, so I lost. I lost. Poo poo you. Personally, Adam, I think that came off very well. Thank you, mate. Yeah, thank did. you very much yeah. indeed. Yeah. Thank you. I think you, you did a very so good so. job of that. Yeah, oh. Yeah, don't, um, don't lose that. Don't. Hang on a minute. <laughs> Wasn't that the bit we were trying to get yeah, off last right. time? Yeah. Well, sit right inside. Let me come round. What's going? Hey, what? what happened then? Have you yeah, have you been doing it. something while I weren't up here? I have been. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> That's the bit we were trying to get off, wasn't it? Yeah. Don't yeah, ask me what bit fact, it was. It didn't take a lot to get it off because I've got I've got one of these. Look, show us, show us. Got one of them. That's what we were looking for. Twenty mil. Look. Just what? Sh- what? what, that, what? Have you got another what? box? Um, yes. And you just put that on and kept tightening it up and it just draws it off, does it? Yeah. Uh, uh, He's rattling around in boxes again. Trying to find a decent box. <laughs> I've got, um, got a bucket, big bucket. That'll have to do, won't it? Making noise again, Mark. You are. Tots of fruit. Are you, yeah. of fruit. Yeah. Are you going to turn around and get your thing coated, re-coated? Now we've got new bolts coming. Yeah, we've got stainless bolts coming. He's all below. Yeah. Either use these and have them coated. <laughs> you, you get stainless ones, you'll end up pissing around, cutting them down. Now they're all matched, matched, matched perfect standard specials. Right, this here's the oil pickup. That picks the oil up from the bottom of the engine mark yeah. and pumps it back round it. And if you look in there, you'll <laughs> Guess see we're it. carrying on. <laughs> you'll see, you'll see <laughs> things that explain themselves. Yeah, definitely do that. You'll, see a, do fine, that. you'll see a fine gauze yeah. in there, but right. that catches all the crap, yeah. basically, right. the bits you can see there, and they clean it now. Technically, that's called our, our gauze. <gasps> that's terrible. So when we, took, we, when we took the oil pump off last week, mm. the oil gets sucked up here from a sump, through the pump, and then back in here through the engine. And sprayed about a bit. And that then starts, well, flicked about a bit, that starts it? its journey through the engine and then drops back into the sun. Back round again. <sighs> Obviously things like these O-rings will all be replaced. Right. Now, now, this has prompted a question. This has prompted a question from someone, right, namely me, who knows jack about anything, right? Yeah. Oh, you're pretty good at filming and editing. Yeah, but nothing to do with engines. <laughs> now, oh, computers. So you, yeah. Now you say the the oil's in the bottom of the engine. Yes. Yeah, and it gets pumped up. Yes. And it then, gets, and then it gets flicked sucked around. Up ma- sucked up yeah. from that strainer. What, what, so what's a now what's a dry sump engine then? That's got a separate tank and the sump's dry basically. It goes around. And it's got tank. an external oil tank. pump on the engine. Yeah. So the the oil pump was on the side here. It's sucking the oil up from the sump. Yeah. Dry sump. We'll have an oil tank. 
pipe work going to the engine to the oil pump and the oil pump then will take it through the pump through the filter through the engine yeah. through the oil cooler back into the tank and that's wave. obviously like you can thrash an engine more if you've got an actual pump system can you well you don't get any oil no. so you don't get any oil surge no. the dry sump right because you call me and you're getting so same with the fuel you put back right. in the See, fuel, I so ask this fuel, because I, rem I remember vaguely years and years ago watching a program about the formula first that yeah. came out with yeah. the van diemen that's it yeah. yeah and they had an xr2 engine with yeah. a dry sump version didn't yeah. they yeah. Yeah. See. Yeah. So see. Stop, stop, see. Stop. A, a little tiny bit went in. <laughs> yeah. A little yeah. tiny bit went in. And you also, you see, you can have a, sm a small sump on it as well. You see, if you want the engine lower, you can put a smaller sump on it. With a back. And, and by dropping and the engine, get, you don't get oil yeah. going up. Round, right. Round and by dropping the engine, it, it prefer p handles better, does it? Because your centre of gravity has been. Yes. You see. <laughs> you see. You think I'm just pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Now, they were doing that, weren't they, in the touring cars a couple of years ago with the BMW engine, weren't they? What's that? Having it yeah. lower. They're all lower. Got, they, they, they put them to you, the want it, yeah, you want, with race, race stuff, you want everything as low as you yeah, can possibly get, you get it. it. And for, as far back as you can get it, so you want it more the centre of the car as well. So the engines, what they were, Vauxhall really were the first to do it, I think, was to drop the engine right down low, Ray Mallet, I think it was, and then put the engine further back in the middle, middle of the car, so it was lower and further back. See? And people think that this isn't educational. <laughs> <laughs> so what ends up happening, you get the same weight on the front as what you do on the rear. Yeah. Or you yeah. can have. Yeah. See, sometimes that's what helps being a taller driver, you see, because you're transferring something. You prefer the same there. amount of weight on the front as the rear, don't you? But, yeah, and, and <laughs> <laughs> you, you say all that, you yeah. turn around and go back to, say, like the old Alfa Romeo GTVs back yeah. in the 90s, yeah. 80s. Yeah. They had the gearbox in the back. Yeah. Because well, the old uh, engine in the front, and had the, the weight was yeah, 50, similar. 50, 50 split, yeah, 50 yeah. 50 split front. Because I think the 944 nine, four Porsche was the first one to have a 50, because they put a bloody great big different that on yeah. the back, didn't they? Mm. And that made that 50 yeah. 50, didn't it? That's right. Boom. Have you got a different pair of glasses on tonight? You look like a doctor tonight. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I can't they're, they're not Frankie safety Stein. glasses, are they? They're, they're not, not safety, safety glasses. glasses. I can't see bad rule without them. <laughs> these are safety glasses. <laughs> right, get me, let's get me all, get me all, fil get me all filter off. Your oil filter? Will that, and, will um, it, will not get it off? Because I don't think I've got them. Do I? That's it, it's where he racks me. That, um, racks me wrist on purpose. <laughs> See, you know, he may even move the span around so it was in a better position so it's nearer to it. Come on. That's Come on. slipping. Is it slipping? Yeah, whoever's done it up, done, done it, it up really tight. tight. Yeah, not hand tight. I need to do it up hand tight, you see. Yeah, we do it. Is there not a six sided socket? Is it not a torque setting? Six sided socket. Yeah, That's quarter cool. turn. Is huh? that six sided yeah. or 12? I thought that had a torque setting myself. Nice no, to spin that house. Getting ignored now. Let's try 16. Got a um, band, no. Chain, no. Well, we can get it off once it's split. So I ain't, ain't you in the world. lesson, Mark. I'm going to stick the screwdriver in it. Well, we'll take it off at, at the end. Once it's, once it's split, you can do it on the bench. Why are, we turn, why are we turning it over? Just burped it. There's a lot of air stuck in it, so we just burped it and then that relieves that air. <laughs> Come on, what a load of... No, Steve Mark the left piston. Sorry? Steve Mark the L on the, on the left piston, so we know which piston goes in what side. Right. No, left. <laughs> right. Yeah, no left, yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. If we're not going to get the cool, the um, filter off, no. we'll have to use a spanner on them too. Yeah, okay. Right, and 10 mil. Here you are, Adam. What? I got you some chocolates earlier, mate. Oh, thanks very much. It's nice of you. <laughs> I don't well, like nuts. I do that. Hey. I am. <laughs> don't like nuts. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, like the coffee you made me I'll last put week. Put back in the box. <laughs> yeah, like the coffee you made me last week. Oh yeah, no, it wasn't last week, was it? Oh no, week before. Week before I'm that. Confusing. A bit oily, wasn't it? Yeah, no, my museum museum's good, wasn't it? Hello. Hello, next door. Hello. Right oh, now, are you, are you, have you got that in your hand? Because you're going to take. You're going to take, I'll tell you, the oil filter off. Like, I know what part. the oil filter is, it's that bit there. Look. Yeah, do you know how I that, know what, what that is? What does that do? Hey? What does that do? That filters your oil, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, what's going on out there now? Oh, it's moving cars around. You think my dad was a would you? There we go, look. That's all you needed. That's all we needed. There we go. How did you know which way to turn it? Huh? How did you know which way to turn it? Loose, lefty loose and righty tight. Yeah, you go, there you go, tip of the wood. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the crack will be in the outside yeah. bit. Chuck it to one side and if you hold the engine, I'll just go around and yeah. undo the bolts. So is this going to be a spare engine or one no, you go use? use it. It's going to go in the bike. It's going to be a spare bike sitting there waiting. So if there's trouble with another one, it falls out. It goes. Well, I'm hoping once I've done it, yeah. and he does that, yeah. he'll be taking the engine out and putting in a better bike. What do you mean better bike? <laughs> <laughs> putting in the better bike. Because the engine will be better. Yeah, but it's a better bike. That's the thing I don't like. It's the best bike. It'll be in the best bike, won't it? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Got a terrible cold mark tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. I think you've been a bit, a bit too cheeky tonight. You know it's what? not your, I think, it's one of your moves again. No, I'll tell you what, I think we're, I think we're going to keep him out of shot now. For good yeah. We're just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's it, just put the... Oh, just, just, <laughs> yeah, just, that's the last one, thing. Yeah. <laughs> Is he getting new bolts of them as well? I don't know. I'll have to ask him. I'll have to ask him. I'm sure it comes as a complete kit and encasings everything. So hopefully, by giving it a bit of a tap, that will split the cases. Like that. It has, is it? Yeah. Oh, crikey. Right, here you are, Adam. First yeah. time you can see inside an engine. Oh, crikey, look at all that bloody plastic on that. Oh, crikey. It's not yeah, too bad, is it? So where's all that crap come from? I don't think it's from any cogs, is it? Well, that wipe in the bearings, the bearings don't look too bad. Right. We're still sticking the guides and chain on it now. No, it ain't no. worth it. No? What about the chain? Yeah, yeah, definitely yeah. definitely a chain. Guides are alright. Don't look worn in or anything. No, they look pretty good. Seen a lot worse. No. Is it worth balancing the crank and that and stuff like that, motorbikes or not? Balance it? Yeah. They will be all balanced already. Yeah. The only thing we've got to do is. Um, what's that bit there? I don't know, it looks like a counterbalance to me. And that goes around. Is it a counterbalance or something? Yeah, it is a balance shaft. Yeah. And what they allow, they'll have teeth on, they'll have um, dots on there. So when you assemble it up, you turn around and line them up. Oh, I see. So, otherwise yeah. that will turn around and vibrate really bad. Yeah. So, what's all the cogs down here then? Gearbox. Register your gears. Hmm. I thought it was going to be gears, but I did want to make myself look like a <laughs> right dinghy. <laughs> <laughs> Steady, you ain't got a car. No, no. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. And it's four speed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a couple of spare ones, isn't it? A couple of spare, just in case. As it happens, yeah. they are lined up as we speak. Right. Yeah. With the balance shaft, 
if that's not lined up as it is there. With those two lines? Them two lines. Yeah. If you put it in a different position and you run it, the engine yeah. would vibrate really bad. Yeah, shake yourself to shit. <laughs> all right. Fine. Mm. Mm. Right, so what's next on the Carry on stripping. Stripping. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. Oh, dear. oh sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Not me, obviously. <laughs> You'd like to see that. I'd like to see that. We'll, ba we'll, we'll, we'll balance you up. My moobs. <laughs> you got bearings there for the balance shaft. Yeah, as it, really as really it happens, they look oh, they look pretty good. Yeah. But we're still gonna put new bearings in. Well I, I don't think I'd bother. No. We can put bearings in, that's not a problem. Yeah. All depends what he's yeah. if he's gonna do with, do everything on it. Yeah. I'll ask him again. But he could get away with them. Yeah. And obviously we don't have main, no, bear, no, main no, bearings on them. Knowing what he's like, he'll want it all on. Yeah, no, it's fine. Him. Yeah, because he's pretty, he's pretty fussy. Is he? You wouldn't think it looking at him, but he's pretty fussy. <laughs> Right, we <laughs> nearly said something about the dad's favourite, and then I thought, no, better not. Better not, better not. Move on. Chill it, me. Cuts the fruit. Won't be talked up that tight, sure, will we? Yeah, will we? I'm putting a lot of pressure, it's just you not holding the engine. And that was all sharp edges, I've got to have a get hands, I've already cut my finger on it. You keep swearing as well, didn't you? Oh, oh no, I'm running out of <laughs> I'm running out of tooty food tokens here. <laughs> <laughs> Guess the Formula One engineer, everybody. <laughs> 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 my crack. Especially, yeah, my, my crack. <laughs> oh, that was a cheap stab, wasn't it? <laughs> where's your, where's your, um, Do you want this? Little scribe we had. Uh, yeah. Poor old bloke. <laughs> Starting to go, isn't yeah, it? see yeah. that colour that there, colour that's how they normally are. That's gone, that's got a mm. dark. Yeah, so we'll be getting on you anyway, won't we, sir? So. Um, okay. Look at that. There you go. <laughs> Might as well just chuck that chain, haven't we? Let's just stick that in there. Well, you keep everything for the time being. Yeah. What we do, we'll assemble, just set the um, cap back on the rod. Oh, Anyone, when you do this, if you're not sure which way round they go, you've got a, you've a got bit there, there. Mm. and same on that one. So when you put them back together, go the same, same side. Yeah. You wouldn't turn around and twist them yeah. around the other one. Set the nuts back on. I'll wrap that in some paper. Actually. What are you doing holding that? I'm going to wrap it in some paper. When you was a kid, yeah. and you used apprenticeship, yeah. did you ever get asked to go for a long wait? No, I asked it some side hooks. <laughs> oh, right, okay. The tartan paint, that was the other one. Yeah, that's quite popular, isn't it, nowadays? Yeah. I've got to use a special brush for that now, though. Yeah. Do you, you use that, Mark? What's that? Tartan paint? No, I use stripey paint. <laughs> <laughs> What, paint? Stripey paint. I've never been into tartan paint. Stripey. 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 <laughs> the easiest way of getting these out, just quickly rattle it like that. It's a lovely action you've got there, Steve. They come straight out. Mm. There you go. Right, okay. you do have one then. No, rattle it side to side. Mm. Quicker. <laughs> How are they looking? Looking good. They look good. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this one's got a little bit. Huh? Oh, no, it's just. Um, yeah, no, you're alright. Pistons will go again. Yeah. Maybe just re ring it. Be nice to know the history, really. Yeah. New big M bolts. Yeah. Bearings. Yeah. 
These are green. What colour is yours? Yours green? Yep. So he's got to get green big ends. Got yeah. colour. They paint code them so you know what thickness to use. Go on. If you can see that, it's got green on it. Hang on a minute, not really, no. Just on the bottom. Oh yeah, it's I think, green, I think we green can. paint. Yeah, 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 yeah we can now. Paint. Yeah, they do yeah, diff we'll different colours for different thicknesses. So if you have a crank ground, it might be a blue or a yellow. And they use a thicker bearing because the crank shaft will be smaller. So which are the thicker colours then? Is green a normal sort of thickness or does it go green, red, orange? You'd have to look, in the, look it up, oh. see what it is. Yeah. That's a good question. Well, it was, and I thought the guy, the bike guru would know straight away. Because he's an expert with Honda yeah. engines. These but engines I'm a bit in particular. I don't know about you, Adam, I'm a bit disappointed. in these Honda engines, these yeah. CB500 engines. I'm a bit disappointed. I am, this is the first time I've ever seen you side one. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the sort of bike I'd normally bother doing. No. Is anybody going to say anything? Well, you didn't say you were going. <laughs> right, you okay, yeah? Yeah, yeah. You're well... <laughs> Dear me. Yes. You're well organised, Knight. I am. You are yeah. really good. I am. I learnt from the last time I was making so much noise trying to find yeah, stuff. Yeah, well, you, you just hid behind the mini all, all night. I did. It's going through my drawers. If we Ooh. remove... The old, <laughs> we remove your old squirters. Are they squirters? They're yeah. not just... Um, they're not... Um, doodles. No, so... And then there's a few little dells in there we'll take out. Do you work for the Guinness Book of Re Records? Nice little oh. squirter. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice little yeah. squirter. You, 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 was it your granddad who used to say she's after your squirter? <laughs> she's was after it? your whacker squatter boy. <laughs> 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 you want to be careful, she's after your whacker squatter. <laughs> right, we're well, almost finished now. Once the gear kit's out, he was which should come me. out. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Come out fairly straightforward yeah. like that. So the modern uh, motor racing uh, gearboxes, uh, the car gearboxes are designed mm. around the original ones are designed around motorbike gearboxes, dog boxes and that. Yeah, but well, is it race stuff is. Yeah. What came first then, the bike or the car? Right, there you go. I well, we said the car, uh, the bike actually. There's three wheelers we oh, saw. Thanks for letting me know, yeah. <laughs> my name's not Ashley. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're watching so you know how to put it back together. Yeah, easy. Yeah, do it in your eyes, guys. Go on then. Piss. What way did that come out? <laughs> <laughs> right, number two top. They whisper, do they, forensic scientists? Yes. Right. I hope that writing's going to stay. I hope that writing's going to stay on there. Let's <laughs> find out, aren't we? So what are we now? Bottom L one. Left, no, no. Left, left top balance left. shaft. Left top. Oh, steady. <laughs> I've just seen something bad. <laughs> that shouldn't be like that. Not that down. No. Someone's assembled, I'm guessing someone's assembled the engine up. That that dowel's meant to poke out and that sits in that bearing to stop the bearing spinning. So when it's sitting like so, you can't move it. The engine's been assembled up. Yeah, you can see where it's dented it, I reckon. Look, is it dented on there? Keep going round. Is it there? No. Or not? That there, yeah. that's for a reason. Is it? So when you put it in, oh, you can, see where, the you can see where the down is. You can see where the down is. They've done it on in the wrong place. And they just it's that down. proud. They've squashed the gearbox down, the top case down, or bottom case, they, sorry. They pushed the dowel down. They yeah. pushed the dowel into the case. So how much of a problem is that then? Got to get the dowel out somehow. Because you can't have that end spinning. No. What, what, what what's the damage so then if that end? Is, sorry. If that end's spinning, what's the problem? That'll wear the case out. Yeah. 
So do you think that's, that's, that's aluminium, that's steel. So if this bearing, as the gearbox is turning, if this bearing starts turning with it, all you'll do is wear a big right. gouge out the gearbox. So right. does that... And then eventually that'll start doing that business yeah. and all fall so apart. So does that prove the fact that we think this has been just thrown back together? That hasn't run since that's been done. That's no, been I done think, I reckon Roger's built this. Okay. Roger? Roger the Bodger. <laughs> I thought you were saying Corsi. <laughs> you know, yeah. that's like that. This, these yeah. were loose, yeah. and you loosen them off to so yeah. you can get the bear, you can get the case out. Yeah, so it releases like, the bear and leaves. Main done it, main done it back up. Yeah, so Two bolts, bolts missing are missing well. out there. Yeah, that's been thrown together. Right? So, so what's the fix then? Do you, do you drill it out and try and pull it well, out? I don't if you're able to. That's, don't go right you through. Might be, you it? might better. I don't know. It depends what damage. It, no, it won't have gone right through, but no. it might damage the case. Is there a hole right through there or not? No. I reckon it's poking out just there, isn't it? No, it's got yeah. filler in it. Is it? Yeah, someone's someone bodged. Mm. Look, that's, that's yeah. a filler. Get a yeah. chisel or something. We'll just bang yeah, it out. Screwdriver. What's that like? It's filler. Yeah. There's bloody filler on these bloody motorbikes. Yeah. Let's chop that out, and then oh, we'll yeah. be able to tap the. You have to get it any welded because the dowel's poked through. and It's been leaking oil. You sure they're not playing the piss out of you? <laughs> right, okay, I do. Can you, can you see, can you right, see now, anything now, Yeah, now you can see the dowel, look. Mm. Can right. you see the dowel there? Yeah. And the casing's all broken away around it. So have you got a um, little tiny drift? I've got a yes, I have. They didn't line mm. the hole up yeah. in the bearing. So it's punched through, it's punched they, through the bottom of the engine. Yeah, just it's leaked oil, so they put fill on it to stop it leaking oil. Yeah. Hmm. So if I just tap that down slightly. Yeah, it's come out. Come out. Yeah, you can see right through it now. Yeah. That's the damage it's done. You can see straight through. Yeah. So when that dowel's sitting in there, mm. so Gloves ain't working. can we can we um, weld a new dowel there or something? Or no, no, no. Just fill the hole up underneath. No. And then just you put the dowel back in. Is this at a certain height? I think, Steve. Yeah. That dowel wants to be sitting like that. Literally, just stop that bearing spinning. Oh, so when the bearing goes on, yeah. It sit, that dowel sits in the hole of the bearing, so then the bearing can't spin in the case. Because mm. if it spins in the case, the aluminium's mm. um, not, not very strong. Yeah. It's just going to wear and then yeah. wobble. That's right. I'll stick that, I'll stick that, um, dowel, in that. dowel in that with the oil squatters. So I'm Stuck guess we're down in with the oil squatters, just so we know next time we can play it back and I know where <laughs> <laughs> I bet you lose them. Sell very good. With my I, reputation. I, looking, looking at this, yeah. I'm guessing it's had major problems in the past. Yeah. And they haven't washed it out properly. No. Hence why. Yeah, we've got all that crap in the In the sun and in the strainer and stuff. So this is the next problem. If you turn around and have it all vapor blasted. Yeah. You can get crap yeah. caught in all the little, yeah, little bits. Yeah, that can cause hassle. Yeah. First about you... soda, bl soda blasting, though, didn't you? Sorry. But what about soda blasting? So it's not wet. It's just. Yeah, no, you can do that. Well, um, as soon as you put it into your tank afterwards, yeah, that'll just dissolve. Well, it. Yeah, I'll ask Gary about soda blasting, it. So. Well, yeah. I was blasting it either. Yeah, if he soda blasts everything, that'll be yeah. fine. Yeah, I'm getting a soda blast it, I think. Mmm, Gaddy. And then once it's soda blasted, get it welded up. Yeah. You've got a couple of other bits of welding on there where the chains come off. Yeah, chain, yeah, chain gold. Um, that's just in case of sorting yeah, out the bearings. Out the bearings. And the crank might be worth getting it polished. Yeah. 
drone. Yeah, you want to make sure you got your, your crank polished, don't you? Something like either, I'll give that to either Sir if that was me. Yeah. It's not that shout. Mm. Huh? Yeah. That's so on. Yeah. Right, so that's about it tonight then, is it? Is that about it? Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Let's have a quick look at the board. And that bit's going to get sent off and yeah. sorted out. Yeah. There you go. I say, it depends what you want to spend. Yeah. Technically, if he puts chains in it, we could use the old bearings, we could use the old rings. Yeah. I think you want. I think you want to put you in there. I think. I mean, well, you might want to keep the old rings, but I'll ask. Well, if he's going to put bearings, I'd rather spend the money on rings than what wood bearings. Yeah. Right. Well, that's it again for another episode. Isn't it? That's the engine mm. all stripped down and ready to. Yeah. We're ready gonna, to be sent off. Yeah. We're going to solder blast it. I think. Because um, obviously then there won't be any. If there's any grit or crap in it, we can just soak it and that'll dissolve away. Right, I yeah. suppose you, you better you better finish the thing up with by because you could like doing all the old thing, didn't you? I've forgotten what to do. You know. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe, give us a thumbs up, a comment, any comment, and don't forget to hit the notification bell and you'll be told when there's a new episode. Episode? Episode? Hey Mark. Hey on, hey on. <laughs> Christy, that was a bit keen, <laughs> didn't you? Did I tell you? Did I tell <laughs> <laughs> I ain't moved that, have you? I have. <laughs> got another bucket. You ain't got a cardboard box? <laughs> <laughs>